Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 15 and today I'm starting vlogging in the morning. It's about 8 a.m. and my job's having some network issues so I've been told to just clock out, hang tight until they figure that out. Uh, so I just made my coffee and now I'm going to head back upstairs and try to get more wrapping done. I didn't get a ton done last night so I'm going to work on that. And I also need to address and send out our Christmas cards. Hoping I can get that out today. So we'll see. wrapped so far under the tree. I'm not done, but I need to get some more wrapping supplies. I've decided I'm gonna get a different type of wrapping paper for my other stepdaughter, and then um, I need more boxes, and then a few things haven't even come yet in the mail, so more to come. But as I was putting those under there, it made me think about how different families do things differently. So I wanted to talk about that for a minute. Um, growing up, we always did we celebrated Christmas Eve. We would open our gifts like from our parents and then we, at night we would do that and then I'm out of breath because I've been running up and down the stairs. Um, so then Christmas morning, Santa gifts would be there when we woke up and those gifts are unwrapped. So Santa just lays them out and we'd each have like our own little pile. Um, and then that day we would go to like our grandparents and we would have gifts from like aunts and uncles and cousins and stuff like that. So the way that I've done it as an adult is pretty much a similar situation. We wrap our gifts and we do put them under the tree before. Um, I know some people like hide the gifts or they wrap the gifts and then hide the wrapped gifts, but we always put them out. Growing up, that's what my mom always did. And I remember one year my parents went out like on a date or something and my older brother and I unwrapped like a few gifts under the tree. We like carefully peeled back the tape and we looked in them. And then I swear to you on Christmas Eve when we opened the gifts, it was something different. So I don't know if she like returned what she got or something, but I swear I saw something different in the box. Didn't open it all the way, you know, just a little peek. And, and then Christmas Eve, it was different. Also, um, before, like where do you hide your gifts if you have small kids? So I've always just like hidden in the closet and kept like an eye on things, you know, put it under a pile of something. Um, my mom said, as I'm sitting here in front of the piano, it made me think, my mom said that growing up, she would hide our gifts inside the piano. So like, in here this panel comes out. She said she'd always hide them in there. And I think that's so funny. I never knew that and then the gifts were like, right there in the room with us all of the time. But anyway, let me know down in the comments, what are your traditions? Do you open gifts on Christmas Eve or are all of your gifts opened on Christmas morning? Does Santa come and bring you gifts? And if so, are those gifts wrapped or unwrapped? I'd love to hear what your traditions are. Okay, so I'm just sitting down. I'm gonna start addressing our Christmas cards. I have some stamps here, but I don't think I have enough, so we might need to go grab them. Um, I have a few hours before the mailman comes. I'm hoping to get these out today. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from work to see if they are going to eventually get back online. And then, I don't know, every time my phone like dings or anything or my watch goes off, I'm like, ooh, is it my job? You know, I need to work to you know, have money, but I'm really enjoying this time off. I love the morning. I feel most productive in the morning, and so I'm living it up while I can, pretending this is a day off. Yeah, these little ones are throwing. Oh, it's so. 68. still addressing our Christmas cards but while I was doing that we just watched a movie it was called Family Switched I think. Family Switch it was on Netflix yes. so we're back with another review for you I thought it was pretty good it has Jennifer Gardner in it 
and it reminded me a lot of like Freaky Friday or 13 going on 30 and they actually made a joke about that which was kind of funny. Christine, what did you think? Oh, it was good. That's it. Would have watched it again. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a good movie. Weird. Funny. Yeah. It wasn't like a new favorite or anything, but it was good. Walter? I didn't get to watch a complete movie and watch it here and there so it was a big movie. But oh. in, all, in all, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Like we enjoyed it. Wouldn't watch it again, but it was cute and you need something on in the background. Okay, we're out for round two of shopping today, and guess what he just said to me? Should we get gas for us? He wants to get gas. You're just kidding though, right? How many miles do we have to empty? 384, I think we can wait a little bit longer. <laughs> so today, I have a short list of what we need, I'm thinking. Oh, this car didn't even stop. Um, I need to get some more wrapping things, and like gift tags and tissue paper. I need some boxes. And then we have a couple of other gifts that we need to get. We're not really sure what we're getting for those gifts, so that'll be interesting. Record our license plate. <laughs> Almost ran me over. It wasn't that bad. But just the two of us today, so. Which is funny, because yesterday we got stuff for Christine and Christine was with us. We kept sending her to the car. But today, she's done, so we're not shopping for her anymore. But yeah, um, I ended up not even working today. They just texted me a bit ago. It's already like 1.30 in the afternoon, and they just texted me saying the network is still down, so no ETA on when it'll be up. So I was like, I'll just take a PTO day, and hopefully it'll be up tomorrow, because if I'm not working, I'm not getting paid, and I prefer to use my PTO for something more fun. Actually, this is fun, though. So I think the first store that we're gonna head to is Walmart, and I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, I'm back at it, um, wrapping again. Got some more wrapping paper. This one's gonna be for my other stepdaughter. And we only ended up going to Walmart when we went out. I mainly just got some wrapping paper supplies. I need the boxes. I got some ribbons and some, um, make sure there's no presents in the background. <laughs> um, I got some ribbon and some tags, you know, that you put the names on. And, oh, we got stocking stuffers. So, I'm almost done with stocking stuffers. I need a few more things. Picked up this candle. It's from the Packed Party brand and it's called Fresh Cut Trees and it is a wood 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 wick that was hard to say um I did light it for just a second but it smells so good it says it's fresh balsam fir needle and cedar wood and I thought the packaging was pretty cute too it's like Christmas Sorry, didn't realize my head was cut off. Oh, my husband's calling me. Okay, he's gonna go run and get his dinner, so let me go give him a kiss. I never let him leave the house without giving him a kiss goodbye, and he always tries to sneak out. Nothing compares to this, it's such a bliss, my only visions. I don't need any presents, cause I know I have you. I just need you. Okay, they just got home with dinner and this is what it looks like so there's chicharron, chicharron. <laughs> chorizo and egg Latinos. there's steak oh I don't think you can see this Latino. let me show you okay so we've got plantains avocado and egg there's steak underneath this, and some rice, chorizo, and then the chicharron. Oh, and then it also comes with beans. I'm clearly having like a cheap, cheap meal, I should say. And then we got the empanadas, they're chicken, and fried yuca. And did they give you the sauce? And then we have these. Oh, 
this is the sauce that I love. I don't know what to do with it. And then these Colombiana sodas. Um, we've not had this in a very long time, so. What a treat. This is my first time. Don't show me. <laughs> first time. <laughs> Listen, I have a headache, so comment down below if you ever do this, if you ever had a headache. Me, my hair was also in a bun too, so I took it down and I was like massaging my whole head like this. And that's why I look crazy. So they walked in the door. Dis I was like, disregard. Why do you look like that. We all got the same thing. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think that we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this, and then I'm gonna end this video out for the night. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.